You got your money all day, son. Hey, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another What's in the Box product reviews. Uh, so today is kind of a review and a comparison. Um, so, you know, I did the review on the prop money before that I got. The uh, money that I had was printed on the front, but not in the inside. It was just filler bills. Then the company sent uh, another one another uh stack of money for me to review this time it was inside it was on both sides so you get the, the front of the bill and you get the back of the bill this one was really good so either way i ordered some more money and i ordered some off of wish let's get to the wish stuff first uh every, pretty much everybody know how wish works and everything so either way i ordered me a stack of 50s i can't remember how much it was at this point I'll put it up on the screen uh, but here's the good thing about the money is that it's it's nice and loose it's you know you can you can move it it's not really stiff the problem with it is the fact that right here in the corner there's these bars right here okay that's not that bad and is on the other side of the bill Okay, that's not that bad when it comes to the visualization of, you know, like flashing the money, whatever case for me. Here is the problem though, is that right here, let's see if I can get that for you. They got this Chinese right now here. And they got it on the back of the bill as well. Right there. I really don't understand why. Uh, Cause on the bill, it says right here. Usually, it'll say like uh, for movie use only, but uh, they, you know, they got it for United States of America, or whatever case may be. I just figured that uh, if you're gonna put this much time into printing some bills, you might as well get it as close as possible. I'll move on to the next stack that I uh, got from uh, from Wish as well, which was a stack of hundreds, and I believe this is ten thousand. Um, but it's the same problem. You got the markings on the bill right here in the corner. You got the markings right here on the corners of the bill. You also get the, uh, th now this is okay because it's smaller Chinese writing. Uh, I doubt you'd be able to see that, but it's, it's smaller Chinese writing right there. And then they got some big, uh, characters right here on the back. Sorry. That the camera is blown out. Matter of fact, let me try to turn this down. Hopefully, that's a little bit better. But you got the Chinese writing right here, down on here. So either way, um, like I said, as far as like the front side of the bill, you can show it more like this and don't have to really worry about it. Uh, but once again, only paid the shipping and handling, which was a dollar. So not that bad. So I, I, really, I really don't recommend it just for that simple fact that for the dollar or two that you pay for it and then the couple of weeks that you got to wait for it to come in the mail, it's, you know, you really got to weigh it out. Is it really worth it? Now, if you're taking a photo of the money, you may be able to Photoshop a lot of it out. So it may be worth it right there. Or if you got it sitting in the background and the talent is just taking and throwing it in the air or for sitting on the background like in the, in the foreground on the table or something like that excuse me you know that might be worth it you know uh so if you want to pick that up you can go over there to wish and, and pick that up i'm not sure if i can leave a link for that or not but if i can of course i'll leave it in the bottom now i went to amazon and i found um stack of hundreds stack of 50s 20s 10s and 5s now the good thing about this the reason why i like this so much is the simple fact that it was 20 10s and 5s so the biggest thing that you're going to find is the hundreds and the 50s but the fives that I, I, I like for the simple fact that uh you know you could be doing a scene where you're paying for something 
and it's not necessarily realistic that everybody has a you know let's say i'm doing a scene with a child and he and i send them to the store to buy something it's more realistic he's going to have like a five or a ten or something like that so that's the reason why i like that aspect i want to do a, a kind of a tit for tat and i don't have a hundred dollar bill on me all right now i feel like running out to the bank but this one is more realistic to what you'll find you know true to color and uh these are both uh you know both uh, uh prop money but if you look at the top and you look at the bottom there's a color difference you know it's huge but it's not that huge when you're talking um filming you see that on the back so it's a little slight difference this is thinner paper so this is why it moves a little bit better you see i can shake this and it's not really moving all that much whereas i'm shaking this and it's just you know got that nice smooth you know uh bend to it so there's applications for both of them you get 22 bills in here all right so you get 20 50s and it's the same thing is is they they don't vary for the bill the all the bill denominations vary in color just like they do in real life but they're not really accurate as far as real money but uh this is as you can see the wind is blowing that the movie the the money is moving uh like really really easy so when it comes to counting on film you know uh these will be more practical you know when you're really trying to do the whole uh you know trying to look for the realism in the whole thing so let's say you're counting the money all right how much i owe you one two three boom you know whereas the other money is, is so rigid that it's not going to really lend itself to to look as real but like i said you know got your money all day son and it sound it sound real it feels it feels you know a little bit more real um but like i said this is where it really comes down to it is the fives tens and the twenties um the thing is is that you can crumple this up and have it in your pocket and make it look like real money uh so i'll put the rest of the stuff that's on the on the bottom i'll put the rest of like how much is in here on the screen um and of course you can check out the link below but uh that was just a quick little review on this prop running so or this prop money and the stuff that i got from wish and uh just want to give you a little better insight anybody that's trying to do videos or photos whatever the case can be um if you're looking for prop money this is a, a cheaper alternative than actually going to the bank and having your own money or if your talent want to do something with money in a video you know having them get up all their money you know you count it out you know what you're giving them you know what you should get back or you know basically you put the cost of the money in there just in case your money doesn't make it your its way back to you by the end of the video shoot uh so you can cover your cost but that's that's one way um but like i said the five tens and the twenties is the reason why i bought this because it, it you know when you're doing a more realistic scene this is going to come in handy but uh if you like what we saw please like and subscribe and uh stay tuned for the next one thanks